the Spirit and the Church cry out, Come, Lord Jesus. All those who await his appearance pray, Come, Lord Jesus. The whole creation pleads, Come, Lord Jesus. Joyous light of glory of the immortal Father, Heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ. We have come to the setting of the sun, and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. The Lord be with you. Let us praise and thank the Lord. It is right and fitting for greatness, magnificence, and glory belong to him. We praise and thank you, O God, for you are without beginning and without end. Through Christ, you are the creator and preserver of the whole world. But above all, you are his God and Father, the giver of the Spirit, and the ruler of all that is, seen and unseen. You made the day for the works of light and the night for the refreshment of our weakness. O loving Lord and source of all that is good, mercifully accept our evening sacrifice of praise. As you have conducted us through the day and brought us to night's beginning, keep us now in Christ. Grant us a peaceful evening and a night free from sin and at the end, bring us to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, through whom, through him, we offer glory and honor and worship to you and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. O Lord, I call to you, come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense. The lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evildoers. But my eyes are turned to you, O Lord. In you I take refuge. Strip me not of my life. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let the incense of our repentant prayer ascend before you, O Lord, and let your loving kindness descend upon us, that with purified minds we may sing your praises with the church on earth and the whole heavenly host and may glorify you forever and ever. Amen. Psalm 130 Out of the depths have I cried 
Lord, unto thee, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul doth wait, and in his word do I hope. My soul waiteth for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech thee, let thy merciful ears attend to the prayer of thy humble servants, because with thee there is forgiveness of sins, that thou mayest not mark our iniquities, but vouchsafe to us thy mercies. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Hymn 275. O Trinity, O blessed light, O unity of princely mind, the fiery sun is going down. Shed light on us through your, through your sun. To you our morning song of praise, to you our evening prayer we raise. We praise your light in every age, the glory of our pilgrimage. All glory be to God above, and to the Son, the Prince of Love, and to the Spirit, one in three, we praise you, blessed Trinity. A reading from St. Luke the 20th and 21st chapters. But he said to them, How can they say that the Christ is David's son? For David himself says in the book of Psalms, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. David thus calls him Lord. So how is he his son? And in hearing of all the people, he said to his disciples, Beware of the scribes who like to walk around in long robes and love greetings in the marketplaces and the best seats in the synagogues and the places of honor at feasts, who devour widows' houses and for a pretense make long prayers. They will receive the greater condemnation. Jesus looked up and saw the rich putting their gifts into the offering box, and he saw a poor widow put in two small copper coins. And he said, 
Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all of them, for they all contributed out of their abundance. But she, out of her poverty, put in all she had to live on. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Henry Nowen from The Wounded Healer. Having said all this, I realize that I have done nothing more than rephrase the fact that the Christian leader must be in the future what he has always had to be in the past, a man of prayer, a man who has to pray and who has to pray always. That I bring up this simple fact at this point may be surprising, but I hope I have succeeded in taking away all the sweet, pietistic, and churchly aura attached to this often misused word. For a man of prayer is, in the final analysis, the man who is able to recognize in others the face of the Messiah and make visible what was hidden, make touchable what was unreachable. The man of prayer is a leader precisely because, through his articulation of God's work within himself, he can lead others out of confusion to clarification. Through his compassion, he can guide them out of the closed circuits of their in-groups to the wide world of humanity. And through his critical contemplation, he can convert their convulsive destructiveness into creative work for the new world to come. Henry Nowen. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. Rise up, O Lord, and help us, and save us for the sake of your steadfast love. Hasten, O Father, the coming of your kingdom, and grant that we, your servants, who now live by faith, May with joy behold your Son at his coming in glorious majesty, even Jesus Christ, our only mediator and advocate. The Lord will give strength to his people.
The Lord will bless his people with peace. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, the Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Bless and preserve us. Amen.